feeding a large group of friends or family can sometimes be costly, but my friend Amy James has a delicious recipe for slow cooker pinto beans that's not only great tasting, but budget friendly. I'm Amy James. I blog at OurEverydayDinners.com. I started my blog because I had friends constantly asking me, so you have three kids, what in the world are you cooking for dinner? And so I would answer that question over and over. So then I thought, hey, why don't I just blog about it? When I got married, I had no clue how to cook. And I really didn't even know until I started to have children. We loved to eat out. We loved to go to different restaurants every single night. But then when the kids came along, obviously, that was no longer an option. So I had to find a way to make delicious food at home. And they're not always the most adventurous eaters, but they like to try new things from time to time. But I really try to cook what I like to eat and not so much chicken nuggets and things like that. I like to cook things that sound good to me. Cooking for a large family can be very expensive. One thing I like to make is beans. My whole family likes beans. And so you can, for a couple dollars, you can feed an entire family of five with my simple beans recipe. A pound of beans, you can double the recipe if you want, if you have a big slow cooker. All you do is you rinse the beans, pick out the rocks, stones, dirt, whatever, I rinse them out, and then I soak them with water just to cover for the whole day. Then that night, I take the beans and I put them into the slow cooker. I add an entire onion cut in half, four cloves of garlic, and some ham, or ham hock, or ham bone if I have it, and cover them with beef stock. I cook them on low all through the night and all through the next day, and then they're ready. They cook for about 20 hours. Then when they come out, they're very soft, but they're not mushy. And I like to serve them the way I would serve chili, with tomatoes, avocado, cheese, all the good toppings. So the first night, typically, we have beans in a bowl with all the, with all the toppings, with chips. And then the second day, you can have burritos, you can have tacos, you can put them into an omelet and make like a southwestern kind of omelet with some salsa. But you can eat them, I mean, as long as they last. Usually in my house, it's only a couple days. 